Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about a very topic that's very close to my heart and that is my labor and delivery story. Um, so I got pregnant in September of 2018 and uh, it was my first pregnancy. So like every new mother or rather most new mothers, I was completely clueless about what awaited me. Um, I found out I was pregnant about in October of 2018 or so and um, you know I started with you know I went to the gynac and um, so gynac is gynecologist right and uh, I started my appointments I started uh, getting terrible morning sickness um, for the first couple of months and um, by the fifth or sixth month I really started to relax okay so I started to enjoy my pregnancy I enjoyed having the baby inside I love to feel the baby kick um you know i just was really enjoying my pregnancy okay uh, of course there were ultrasounds and scans and all of that good stuff um you know and a couple of times the doctor was like mm -mm, you know this level doesn't look too good or, but nothing serious and uh, you know uh, so it was pretty smooth sailing now i started towards obviously uh, towards the seventh or eighth month I started to get a bit panicky about the delivery, right? I mean, what you gotta do? You you listen to all these horror stories from your relatives, and some will really scare the life out of you. <laughs> some will, you know, say, "Oh my goodness, it's the worst pain you've ever felt." Some will say, "Oh, it's okay, you know, you will sail through." Women have been doing it for years, you know. I don't even remember what I went through. And obviously you have all these movies and all of that which show the women struggling, pushing, screaming with pain. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's a lot to handle sometimes. So what I did is, I mean, um, this is just my own personal experience, right? I downloaded this lovely Christian app called Christian Hypnobirthing, okay? So, um, it's so wonderful, that app. I really highly recommend it. Uh, so it, you know it's so soothing and the lady you know keeps repeating these scriptures the soothing music uh, there are lots of affirmations so every day I started to you know go out for a walk take in all that good stuff pump myself up um, you know I'm, I'm a Christian so I believe in Jesus and I put my faith in the Lord and I said Lord every day you know I, I started affirming that you're with me it's going to be easy it's going to be manageable I can do it you know and my face really pulled me through okay so I highly recommend that you know the first thing you do is put your faith in God because no matter what preparation you do no matter how good your doctor is no matter the hospital that you go to no matter the position of the baby ultimately everything is in the Lord's hands okay so you know you are completely helpless and all you can do is just do your best so you know um, that's one of the things that really kept me going all right so now getting back to my story so now this is I was like in my 37th week and I went in for my checkup and the doctor said look the baby hasn't turned so she isn't in position oh, the baby isn't in position right in India we don't know the gender of the baby until the baby's out so um, so she said, look, I'm going to give it a week. If in a week's time, you know, she doesn't turn, then we have to schedule a C-section. So, well, I was okay either way, but my mom was really, really <laughs> upset, you know, because she was like, normal is the best, normal, 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 normal. Everyone's had a normal. Oh my gosh, I had a normal. This one had a normal. I started to get really upset at some points, I won't lie, you know, because nothing's in your hands and, you know, so well, we started praying fervently, please let the baby turn, please let the baby get into position. And then every time we feel the baby move, I think, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, maybe the baby's turning, maybe the baby's coming into position. Well, I went for a scan and the baby hadn't turned. The baby was breech. That's the term for a baby that hasn't got into position yet. So now the doctor said, look, there's a chance the baby may turn. But 
but what if the baby doesn't you know so if the baby doesn't turn and you're going to labor it's highly risky so we need to do a c-section now this is where things get interesting and i think a lot of mothers here in india would identify it is that obviously if it's not a real emergency like mine there is a choice so every parent has a choice you know in this kind of situation so i could have chosen to wait a bit longer maybe the baby would have turned or maybe you know i, I mean but when the doctor reads out the risk to you and makes a recommendation you know it it's not easy to go against the doctor's recommendation okay because you've got this beautiful child now in your womb and you want to do whatever you can to make sure it comes out safe so my husband and I we prayed about it we talked about it and we decided to go with the doctor's recommendation so at 38 weeks i scheduled my c section now i decided to have the c section on the monday and the doctor you know told me give me a couple of dates so <laughs> i just had a couple of days now and while the doctor gives you a couple of dates you also have to consider the availability of the operation theater the doctor's availability you know if she's going to schedule a, a c section on a day where she's got multiple appointments she's rushing to go to a clinic that's not ideal so i picked a day very strategically wherein she was free she didn't have clinic and the hospital operation theater was available so that just gave me three days and i was freaking out right because i hadn't prepared i i was like 38 weeks and i thought 40 weeks like you know you have those apps that tell you when your due date is so i i, I thought i had a couple of more weeks i hadn't wrapped up my work i started scrambling <laughs> you know uh, but then i just took a deep breath i informed my boss wrapped up my desk went home got my hospital bag together and i already had prepared so i already had my hospital bag ready okay um you know i had already prepared that so that was out of the way so all that was left now was to you know face whatever has to come so uh, i did have an elective cesarean so that means that you know i checked in it was so smooth the whole experience so i checked into the hospital with my bag prepared i had this my speakers i had taken a nice room i played this light music i was worshiping god i was trusting jesus to take me through my mom was with me okay uh, so the the cesarean was scheduled for the following morning at 10 all right so my mom was there till till the evening and then my husband joined me and uh, you know we kind of hugged each other throughout the night hoping for the best and i was just petting the baby actually i didn't really want to them to take the baby out so soon at least to me i felt that was okay i really wanted to complete the full 40 weeks but oh well okay so now gets the interesting part right so now uh, early morning 5 am So, you know, the nuns at the hospital woke me up. Get dressed. Get ready. Get up. Okay, so I was like, oh my gosh! And then they kind of recommend that you wash your hair because you know it's a surgery, and then for a couple of days or maybe a week after the surgery, you can't wash your hair. So they do recommend that you give your hair a good wash. So I washed my hair, put the hospital gown on. The doctor came. Whatever, she was fresh. She was ready. I was happy to see that. Right. Okay, and then of course a few loved ones came, wishing me blah blah blah, few calls. And like, okay, <laughs> and then ten um, o'clock it's scheduled, right? So they take me in. I'm in my hospital gown. Now here, I mean, I kind of booked the operating room and everything, but the hospital kind of goofed up and it was double booked. So I was like twiddling my thumbs there. So then the doctor said, "Look, go lie down." and you know when it's ready I'll call you so i was right i was inside i was just lying down praising god relaxing and unfortunately my family outside didn't realize that the the room wasn't booked so they were really really worried because it was supposed to be only a half an hour procedure and now it's already 11 11:30 11:15 and they haven't heard anything so they were like what is it are there complications what's going on so they were really really upset Okay, so now it's about eleven fifteen, and then finally it's my turn. So they take me in. 
okay now here are a few gross details maybe what if you're not okay with this right so so then they kind of insert a catheter in you okay and that was a little uncomfortable but not painful and then the anesthesiologist gives you a shot on your spine now it ain't that bad <laughs> you know i was really pumped for a lot of pain but it's just an ant bite so they give you a small shot first of numbs you and then they put in the big one and guys it was so smooth it was so smooth so now i'm lying there okay there's a screen so you can't see what they're doing and i was just praising god and thinking about all the names of god and blessing god and i'm so just i was just in the zone praising god and i could hear the doctors chatting so this is a common you know thing that i find mothers tell me that you know the doctors are really cool and this is like what they do day in and day out so they are not stressed at all and they are busy chatting and i'm hearing about who's where and what's where and this one went here and this one about what they did and the happiest moment of your life you hear your baby cry so i got this week and Because you can't feel anything. You really don't know. You're depending on that. No one tell me anything, right? So I heard the baby out. I was like, oh, baby's out. And then the doctor said, and I heard the doctor asking, what is it? What is it? So so a girl. So I was like, oh, I got a baby. <laughs> I was so happy. I was so happy. And then they're like, oh, you know, there's the baby. Now. I don't know if you know, but when you went for surgery, you have to remove everything, your contacts, specs. So I couldn't see. I'm like, where? Show me the baby, right? So then they brought this cute baby. Eyes all glowed, little face. I just burst into tears, guys. I was like sobbing, like I don't know. And and this is really sad because I sobbed for like really like half an hour straight. and a lot of the assistants unfortunately thought that i was crying because i had a baby girl because in india boys are like sought after but that was not the reason i was just so happy i just couldn't believe it's like this this joy welled up in my heart i can't ex- describe it it was out i mean unbelievable you know and i just couldn't stop the emotion flow okay so they took me out of the room I mean, my surgery was done. I didn't even know when the doctor left. I had no clue. So I just asked someone, "Was it a success? Am I okay?" She's like, "Yeah, you're okay." And now they took me to a, in a recovery room where I started bitterly shivering for at least 20 minutes. Okay, I think it was something to do with anesthesia or something like that. And they they are prepared for that, so they've got blankets and they've got this heater that they put in. And I was like, "Oh no!" <laughs> it was really. It was really this, and I didn't even know where the baby is. I, I mean, they, I guess they cleaned her up and they took her somewhere. I don't know. I'm like, I, I was blank. And then they wheeled me out, and then as soon as I saw my family, I was like crying all over again. I was like, my mother was like, it's okay, it's okay, the baby's fine. You got a lovely child. And I was like, I was like crying, and then I just managed to spit out that I'm crying because I'm just so happy. so wonderful and god is so faithful and and then i didn't even realize that they had put the baby in my feet because i was immobile right i had taken the spinal anesthesia or whatever they call it yeah and um, so i was completely paralyzed I mean rather immobile from the waist downwards so i couldn't feel anything so i didn't even know the baby was at my feet and then they gave me the baby to hold best moment of my life seriously what a moment right so uh, that's my labor and delivery story guys uh, i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and have a nice day